There's a myth that says that if you're on a ship when it's sinking, it'll suck you down with it. You're telling me this thing, when it goes down, I'm gonna go down with it because it's gonna suck me down? Yeah. A sinking ship is every sailor's worst nightmare. Take this deliberate sinking in Canada. It graphically illustrates the force created when a large ship goes under. Heather Joseph Witham studies folklore, including harsh tales of the sea. The idea is that if there's a large ship that's going to be sinking, the passengers need to get as far away from the ship as they possibly can because the ship will go down in the water and a tremendous suction will be created and it will draw anyone and anything down with it. When the Titanic went down, we have numerous accounts of people who were swimming or who were on lifeboats. And they all said, our lives were saved because we had some strong men rowing the boat and we got far away from the suction of the boat sinking. Well, Jamie, what are we going to test for this? What are the prevailing theories behind a boat sucking you down? Well, apparently there are three. And the first one is that air that mixes in with the water as it rushes up from the boat makes the water less dense. And so it's like you're going to fall through the water quicker that way. Uh, the second theory is that the cavities in the ship will create a, an area for the water to rush in, and that'll pull you into the ship. And then the third one is that uh, the ship moving through the water rapidly towards the bottom will create a vortex above it, kind of like drafting behind a truck when it's on the highway. Well, you know, all those three theories seem to me simple enough to actually test in the shop. I think I could build a small water rig with a bubbler and some weights and some small boats, and we could see all three of these theories right in their shop. Yeah, but, you know, I still think we need a real boat. People aren't going to get it unless we do it with a real boat. Would someone in the water be pulled down with the ship? You guys watch out for the cable. Don't get tangled up on the cable. OK, be careful. It might roll and you get caught. It's going to roll, guys. Yeah, it's going to roll. Be careful. Stay with it. Stay out. Stay with it. There you go. Woo! It sucked you down, didn't it? <laughs> How do you see nobody get sucked in? <laughs> no suction. No suction at all. I mean, I, I could not have been more central to the boat where it went down. I sat on it, the entire boat just dropped underneath me, and I hit the water, my neck hit the water, and I never went any lower. And what did I say? Yeah. Once again, Heinemann, you were absolutely right about how the boat sank. So uh, I say let's get this puppy back up and call it a day. I need a drink. <laughs> so no vortex with the myth tannic. But how do they explain the dramatic tests in the swimming pool? In our test, we used like 300 pounds, and it went right, right down really quickly. The boat's not built like that. It's a lot larger surface area. It didn't go down that fast. Well, you know, Jamie, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, there is no effect. That myth is busted. Yeah, I'd agree. You know, I was right there, too. I didn't feel it. I didn't see it. Uh, didn't happen. You know, I, and with all the rigging and stuff that are on a normal ship, there are some very good reasons to swim away from a boat that's going down. It could pull you down. You get caught in the rigging. But none of them involve suction. And I know our boat wasn't as big as one of these. But with a nine-ton boat, I think you would have felt something. I'd agree.